Storm Gavir here from Military Arms Channel. So I was perusing the internet well, last week and somebody posted on one of the gun forums an old article, I think it was from Shooters Magazine. It was from 1986 and it was Alaska State Trooper that was documenting his uh, tests to find a new patrol rifle for his department back in the 80s. And he conducted a series of tests that really kind of piqued my interest and I thought to myself, I hadn't really done anything like that before. And what he had done was taken a number of different rifles, a Galil, a Valme, an HK-91, Colt AR-15, uh, an FNC, and I might be missing a few. But anyway, what he had done is he'd taken these rifles out into the Arctic conditions of Alaska and poured water on them and then fired each of them to see if they would work after they had been sitting outside for about an hour in the cold. I thought, you know what, I want to do that. I want to take a couple of rifles out and do that since we have about 10 degree weather right now here in Indiana. So I took my SCAR 16S and my Colt M4, which is a, an actual Colt M16, and I took them both out and I did a little bit of testing. So I'm going to show you some video about that, talk a little bit about some of the, the mistakes I made and some of the interesting uh, developments that came of doing this test, which was quite fun. So anyway, let's take a look at some video and I'll stick in some commentary here and there. Throw these in the snow and let them cool off. Scar, Colt M4. That steel is about four degrees. So these should cool off here. That M16's cool off fast. All right, so the rifles are down in the 17 to 18 degree temperature range. So I'm going to take a bottle of water, pick the rifles up and lay them on this metal table frame, which is like nine degrees. I'll take a bottle of water, pour it into all the operating areas of the rifles. All right, now we're going to let these sit out here for about an hour and let them freeze. For the test, we're going to use some of this Israeli military industries 5.56 millimeter M855 ammo. One of the things that the trooper did that I failed to do was actually chamber around before pouring the water on the rifles and letting them freeze. So that was my first mistake. Um, as you can see, I was having a bit of a hard time not only getting the magazines into the rifles, but actually getting them to chamber around because the bolts were frozen closed. But after a little bit of messing around, so it took about five minutes, not using any special tools, but just messing with the rifles, I eventually got both of the rifles to work. Both did have a problem with the bolts being frozen and not being able to chamber rounds. Since the rifles were now working, I decided to take things a step further and pack them full of snow, see how well they worked.
locked open. this. Didn't lock open, but it's working. So in the end, it would appear that the M16 performs pretty well in such conditions. Packed full of snow and ice, the rifle fired without one malfunction once we got around chambered into it. The SCAR performed the same. It never failed, never had a failure to feed once we got around chambered. However, the SCAR didn't lock the last round, or didn't lock open on the last round fired, which could have been probably the fault of the magazine. I'm using uh, about 20 year old military surplus AR-15 magazines, M16 magazines, and the springs probably aren't the strongest. The, the rifle did lock open with another magazine that I had inserted into it, so that may or may not be the fault of the rifle. So all in all, both rifles performed equally well. The SCAR didn't vastly, um, you know, perform vastly better than, than the M16, which maybe some would expect. The M16 held its own and actually did pretty darn well. I plan on doing some more tests as things warm up. I'm going to take some sand out there and do some other tests with dirt, sand, mud, swamp water with both rifles, and I'll throw an AK into the mix, and we'll see how they perform. But right now, it looks like a dead-even race between the M16 and the SCAR. Thanks for watching, everybody, and if you have any questions, feel free to post them to my YouTube channel.